Caesar Sayoc, Florida Trump Republican, convicted criminal in some way, I don't know how. Schultz, Florids, PVC pipe mega bomber, y'all okay to get her done. <clears throat> His fingerprints was found on a package. Six inch long pipe packed with pyrotechnic powder and shards of glass bursting at 200, excuse me, 2000 versus 8000 PSI sent to George Soros, Maxine Waters, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Eric Holder, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, Joe Biden, John O'Brennan, Robert De Niro, CNN, and your mom. Also mentioned on his Twitter and Facebook, apparently. Uh, we'll be getting to that in a minute. Adam Housley lied about a complete hoax. He was wrong. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm not interested in hearing it anymore. They're not fake bombs. If you send a container full of explosives and make it look like a bomb, it's treated as a bomb threat and a bomb too. PVC is lighter and not metallic, so it's harder to detect as a bomb, and it fragments more than a bomb based on metal. See also images below linked if you want to. Anti-personnel weapon versus the loss of concussive force because you can't have it go at four times as much intensity. Anyway, um, Hard Rock 2016 may or may not be his backup uh, Twitter account. You can peruse this person and make decisions on your own. And Rock, Hard Rock in Lent is the other channel. And yes, everyone said, well, it's deleted now. Yeah, welcome to the internet. It's so deleted. Now, I want to point out that even archive.org managed to save something in spite of themselves. And the only thing you can do to prevent them from actually erasing it actively, because they will cooperate and destroy things, is to grab every one of these and you have to dump it into archive.is if it isn't already. That's a lot of work. That's 92 URLs and 30, 39 URLs there. They didn't capture as much as archive.is did because it caught 93. Oh, actually, maybe it did. 93 there and ah, 218 on that one. And that was on the Hard Rock 2016 because it took them longer to erase it because that's the first damn thing everybody does is they erase evidence. Thanks, Twitter and also Facebook. Caesar Sayoc's face, face feed seemed like a case study in online radicalization, etc. Ad nauseum. Yes, he's a flaming Republican. Yes, he is not a fake person. No, it wasn't done by the Democrats. Yes, if you said so, you're the same. You're cut from the same cloth this guy is. Uh, in before, and I'm waiting for somebody to uh, to canonize him and make him a martyr because the MAGA bomber has to be a hero because we must exonerate the guilty at all costs. Anyway, there are your archives of the Facebook. Let's see how many we got here. Well. Okay, we've got some, not very many. Most of it, it's just a few things. And archive.org only caught one thing, and it was a video, and it didn't catch it very well. He's a Florida Trump Republican. He has a criminal record. He worked as a bouncer for strip clubs. And he is the PVC pipe bomber, Yal Qaeda, get her done guy, who misspelled the state he was in, maybe on purpose. His fingerprint was pa found on the package, quote unquote. And he may or may not be guilty. We don't know yet. And of course, someone noticed that he was keeping an eye on Democrats and that there are now people making fake copies of his accounts so that they can try to disprove he was a Republican and hardcore. Now, here's the thing. They may all actually be fake. The problem with this is Twitter. All Twitter had to do was not erase the evidence. All Facebook had to do was not erase the evidence. All they had to do was make it to where if anybody made a new account based on a very significant publicly posted name, they would not allow you to do it. That's all they had to do. That's all that anybody has to do. You don't have to erase anything. There's no reason to. Party, your, your, what is this, uh, your, his party, what is this, his registration is Green Party. He followed all Dems. Your hatred of Q-tards is clouding your judgment. Use your skills to make sure it isn't a state's false flag take down Trump. No, uh, Melanie, it wasn't. Um, uh, if you want to say it was states, that's great, but that's not what the evidence points to. What is with the pushback with Republicans dealing with bad Republicans? This happens once in a while, okay? 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And we'll see if this actually ends up being true. I don't know either. Okay? Bye.